How's it going everybody? My name is Benjamin Anderson and in today's video, I'm going to be going over how to influence your app's branding. This is going to be talking about everything from your app's color to icons and other things of that nature. So to do this, we're going to go to UX and brand. From the screen, you can do all sorts of things. My personal favorite is being able to change from the default light theme to the dark theme. I love dark themes. This is my favorite one. This is what I do in almost every app I can. Next, you can choose your primary color. Uh, this is primarily going to change the icon colors um, and any kind of action buttons. Um, so you'll see it throughout your app. And they've got all sorts of different colors here. So you can choose one that matches more closely to uh, your own personal branding or just the one you like the most, it's up to you. Next is app logo. This is what you'll see here, as well as uh, inside of certain app selectors, you will be able to see this icon as well. Um, you can choose from some of their default options or you can choose a link uh, from one of your data sources to an image that you would prefer. Uh, to customize it further. Next we have the launch image as well as background image. So if I sign this, uh, we can see this background um, anytime the screen is in full and the launch image is what we see when we sync the app. So you see we've got this slash through here. So these are some of the, the big ones you'll see. Uh, this launch image uh, you can customize to even put a GIF in the background if you would like to. Um, and they both have, in that same vein, custom um, back, uh, excuse me, custom options as well, or you can hit none uh, for the background image. Finally, down here, we've got some special pieces. You can show the view name in the header, which can be nice if your users are confused about where they are in the app, as well as the logo. Um, and you can choose to hide this menu button and this search button as well. I tend to like this off because I, I like the search feature and the menu feature within the app. Finally, from this view, we can choose how the f uh, footer tells us which um, view we're on or which view we're closest to. So you can see it's a little bit more prominent and it is the same color as your primary color option at the top. So that is the main place to control your branding, but I do wanna also show you um, in the options, there is this to allow views, uh, allow five views in the bottom footer bar. If this is off, your share and sync are down at the bottom but I think it looks really slick when you allow up to five views um, using this. It takes this sync and puts it up top and I think that uh, really uh, just looks sleeker. Next we've got disable the share button which takes it in and out of this menu if you've got this on um, and then allow users to provide feedback. There's other options such as your fonts um, different things for your form, forms, and so on. But that's where we'll stop for this video. There's all sorts of customization for your UX throughout your app. And if you have any more questions about this, we encourage you to either check out the app sheet documentation, the forums, or throw your questions in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more of our content, be sure to hit the subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.